and a half, was it something Coach said? Was it like kind of seeing the fans react to positive play? Um, well, we just got back in the locker room. We kind of talked amongst ourselves before our coaches came in. We just said, you know, we're down 12 points and they're playing their best game. We're playing our worst. So we're just going to pick it up pull it together, come out here with a lot of energy, and hit them first before they hit us. And then, okay, take, take me through the string of uh, three-point shots you had. You had the first one in the quarter, mm -hmm. you uh, threw down the three time, looked over at uh, McKenzie. McKenzie Ingram over at the bench, That's and right. you just did it again, and you did it mm -hmm. the what, what was your momentum there? What um, you do that? Always, I'm, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to give my teammates that spark that energy, and um, I knew we needed a big time shot, so um, I didn't hesitate to take it. Um, I've been in the gym, I put in the hours, so I have confidence in my shot. So you mentioned to me in the preseason that adding a really consistent three point shot was something that you really wanted to work on in your game. Mm -hmm. How do you think you've progressed in that in that uh, statistic, especially even in a game like tonight? I'm um, just getting in the gym and working. Uh, like I said, I'm always in the gym, working on my shot, uh, bring my teammates in, just trying to just trying to be that spark in any position possible, whether that's defense, whether that's offense, whether that's a three point shot, whether that's free throws. Um, so I just been practicing. And then in when you get on such a streak like you were in tonight's game, is it just does it just come kind of like a a lot of players say unconscious shooting where you don't even think about it, you just put it up and it goes in. Is that the sort of thing you were feeling tonight? Yes, uh, I was shooting the ball with confidence and my teammates were fond of me and yeah. Um, just in terms of the game, the atmosphere, the the uh, comeback sort of win and uh, kind of putting a putting a stamp on the season at this point. Mm -hmm. Is this kind of what what you may have envisioned Georgia women's basketball to be when you came here? Is this kind of what you had in your mind? Definitely. This is this is how I wanted to be. Uh, we had an upper bowl today, yeah. and since I've been here, we haven't had that. So today, I just wanted my teammates to play with that fight, play with that passion, and so all these fans can come back. And the the passion that I play with, I just I just want people to just remember me when they leave. I want to I want them to say like that kid plays with a lot of heart. That play, that kid plays with a lot of fight. So and I think they 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 know that about our whole team today. A lot of drama there in the last few minutes to worry about your coach. <laughs> she's going to withstand that oh, stress. Oh man, she was stomping and everything. She's going to go on labor on the sideline <laughs> soon. <laughs> How big of a win was this for y'all today? This was a huge win. I mean, number 13 team in the country. Tennessee is a great team, and we pulled it up. And still undefeated at home? That's right. That's right. Georgia, since I've came here, that's what Georgia does. And it feels good to carry that tradition on with all the alumni here um, today. And then uh, going back to the three-point shot, just how – Take me through what was going through your head in terms of your excitement, because you could obviously see how, how excited you were after each one. Um, I mean, I, I was just excited that I hit them. Uh, my teammates were excited for me. It was a big time moment in the game, and uh, I just showed some emotion. All right, guys, you ready for Joni? Cool. Thank, Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Thanks, Tyler. Questions for head coach Johnny Taylor. Um, Johnny, when did you feel like 